Hey there folks, today we're going to be solving a quick and easy exponential equation. I'll be presenting two methods, so make sure to watch till the end. For the first method, let's go ahead and use logarithm, and let's take the ln of both sides. So we're going to have ln of x to the x equals ln of 3 to the power of x plus 9. Next, based on the power rule, we can take the powers and bring them in front. So we're going to have x ln x equals x plus 9 times ln 3. Next, if we expand the right hand side, we're going to have x ln x equals x ln 3 plus 9 times ln 3. Then, in order to put the x's together, let's go ahead and move this to the left hand side to get x ln x minus x ln 3 equals 9 ln 3. Then, if we factor the x's on the left hand side, we're going to have x times the quantity ln x minus ln 3 equals 9 times ln 3. Next, notice that we have a difference of two logs here, so we can turn this into one log and write it as ln of x over 3. So we have x times ln of x over 3 equals 9 times ln 3. Next, let's go ahead and divide both sides by 3 to get x over 3 times ln of x over 3 equals 3 times ln 3. Now we all know that if a times ln a equals b times ln b, we can go ahead and say that a equals b. So based on this, our equation implies that x over 3 should equal 3, which means that x should equal 9. Great. So this brings us to the end of the first method. Next, let's go ahead and try to solve our equation using a different approach. But first, let me rewrite the problem down here. So we have x to the power of x equals 3 to the power of x plus 9, and we want to solve for x. In the second method, we're going to focus on rules of exponents. For one, we know that a to the power of u plus v equals a to the power of u times a to the power of v. Based on this identity, I can go ahead and write the right hand side as 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of 9. Then let's go ahead and divide both sides by 3 to the power of x to get x to the x divided by 3 to the power of x equals 3 to the power of 9. Next, we know that a to the power of n over b to the power of n can be written as a over b to the power of n. So based on this, I can say that the left hand side is equal to x over 3 to the power of x. Next, let's go ahead and raise both sides to the power of 1 third. And we do that to get the exponents whose power is equal to its base. So by doing that, we're going to have x over 3 to the power of x over 3 equals 3 to the power of 9 third, which is 3. And then from this, it is obvious that we can say that x over 3 should equal 3, which means that x equals 9. Great. So this brings us to the end of the second method and the end of the video. Thank you for watching this. Please consider subscribing for more contents like this and hit the like button if you enjoyed watching this. Hopefully I will see you later. Goodbye for now.